ASTMD 854 Standard Test Methods for Specific Gravity of Soil Solids by Water Pycnometer. By definition, the ratio of the mass of a unit volume of a soil solids to the mass of the same volume of a gas-free like distilled water at 20 degrees C. The equipment used for this lab are as follows. Two pycnometers of 250 milliliters or the 500 milliliter capacity, a balance with a readability of 0.01 grams, a thermometer with a reading of 0.1 degrees Celsius, de-aired water, a funnel, and a bowl. After recording the labels of your two pycnometers, determine and record the mass of the two dry, empty pycnometers. Fill each pygnometer to the calibration mark with de-aired water using the bottom of the meniscus. Dry any water beads on the inside of the stem above the calibration mark or on the exterior of the pygnometer using a paper towel. Measure and record the mass of each pygnometer with water. Measure and record the temperature of the calibration water for each pycnometer. Add soil to the pycnometer using the funnel. Agitate the water in both pycnometers to create a soil slurry by swirling it around. Rinse soil particles adhering to the inside of the pycnometer using the water. Deagitate the soil slurry in both pycnometers using the vacuum method for 10 minutes. Note, this is a deviation from the standard. Dry the inside of the stem and the exterior of each pygnometer. Measure and record the final mass of each pygnometer with the soil and water. Measure and record the test temperature of the water. As shown in equation 1, the volume of the pygnometer equals the mass of the pygnometer in calibration water minus the mass of the pycnometer divided by the density of the water at the calibration temperature. Equation 2 states that the mass of the pycnometer in water at test temperature equals the mass of the pycnometer plus the volume of the pycnometer multiplied by the density of the water at test temperature. Equation 3 states that the specific gravity at test temperature equals the mass of the oven dry soil over the mass of the pycnometer and water at test temperature subtracted from the mass of the pycnometer of water and soil at test temperature minus the mass of the soil. Finally, in equation 4, it states that the specific gravity at 20 degrees C is equal to the temperature coefficient provided in table 2 multiplied by the specific gravity at test temperature. This concludes the University of Arkansas Soil Mechanics Lab, Lab Determination, ASDM D854, Standard Tests for Specific Gravity of Soil Solids by Water Pycnometer.